Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to convert a doodad into a unit. Normally doodads are not interactable by the player, so you need to convert it to a unit so that they can use it. So I'm in my doodads tab, and I'm just going to pick like a structure or something that I can convert into a unit, so say this. So place it here for reference. Now you go into your data tab. So first what you want to do is make a new unit so that you can have a unit. So I'm going to name it this and you want to suggest it. Um, you can have these prefixes or suffixes if you want. They're not necessary but sometimes it can help you if you have a lot of uh, units in your map that are similar in name. It will not show up in game but it just helps you in the editor sometimes. I'd say this unit is a Terran unit, so I'm going to make it Terran. And it's a structure, I'd say, so I'll make it a structure object type. Those aren't completely necessary, but they're nice to have. So then you click OK, and now you have a unit, but you need a footprint because it's a structure. If it's a moving unit, you don't want a footprint because then it won't be able to move. What a footprint does is that it allows you to place the unit actually on the map it gives it something to be placed on. So I'm going to put one by one, and you want a contour uh, footprint because that's what buildings use. So you click OK, and now it can be placed somewhere. So uh, you can mess around with the abilities and life and things like that later. I'm not going to go over that in this video. So now what you have to do is you need to go to your Actors tab. So wait for this to load. Okay. So now you need to find that uh, doodad that you placed in your map. So I'll type it in. So I found it. So if you want to add a new actor, because you always want to make duplicates of your actors, because if you mess up, you want something to be able to go back to in case you need to start over. So, to make a copy, you make a new one. I'm just going to name it something similar. Suggest it. And you have to make it the same as what the old one was. So this is a doodad just for now. So you make this a doodad. Then you do copy from, and you find that same uh, thing. And you copy it. So push OK. Now what you can do is go back and modify it and change it to a unit. Because now it will actually be a unit. So now that it's a unit, it has the art model. You need um, you need to modify the events. So you need to modify this. And what I like to do is reset these red ones because they don't really do anything while they're red, so might as well reset them. So, um, my unit doesn't have any sound, so I'm just not going to bother with that. But for this one, and hold on here, let me rearrange this. Okay, if, if you don't have a unit birth, you're going to need to right-click and add an event and make it unit birth. But since this is here, I'm going to use it because you need it for your unit to be able to work correctly. So you go to unit birth, and then you click on the, um, you type in the unit that you just made, and you click on that. And now when that unit is created, it will reference this. And uh, also, on this token here at the bottom, you need to modify it, this bogus uh, thing that is appearing. And you also need to change it to that unit that you made. So click OK. So now you're, you have a unit. Um, you can mess around with some of these things, like the unit icon and things like that, because right now your unit doesn't have an icon, so it will just be this uh, default thing, and it, that's kind of annoying for players sometimes, so you can... Uh, mess with that on your own time for what suits your needs. 
So now, if I go back to my map, and I go to the Units tab, I see this thing that I have. And now you can see, as I move it around, you can see it, and I can place it. And it appears. So you have now made a successful unit using the editor. So thanks for watching, and see you.